Ask Reddit by Ethereal Xeco. What upsetting things have your friends told you casually? A buddy casually told me once he was taking oxycodone after a minor procedure and liked the way it made him feel. I casually said maybe he shouldn't be didn't press issue. He OD'd 18 months later. One day me and my buddies decided to go out to the movies and everyone pre-ordered their tickets. When we showed up one of my buddies, let's call him Josh, said he was gonna be late but he'll show up. For anyone wondering it was Avatar The Way of Water we were watching. We all started making fun of Josh and saying he's going to miss out on the movie. Halfway through he casually walked in and sat next to us but his hair was messed up and there was wrap on his arms and he was slightly limping but it was dark so we couldn't see much. Turns out Josh got into a car wreck, totaled his car, and ended up calling a Uber after filling out the accident report. When he texted he was running late that's when he was filling out the accident report. Then brushed the whole conversation off so he could watch the movie and didn't explain fully until the movie was over. Damn. You like, my favorite friend here. No. Wait. Second. Or, maybe third like chi -E I didn't even need to know the first part, damn. Bro really started thinking up their options in front of Yule Mayo. Had this friend that would bang anything that moved. We were a mall one night and he just bolts. We finally caught back up and he said he saw a woman that he had a kid with, but didn't pay any kind of child support and took off on her. Not a friend but... 16 year old kid on meth at a youth homeless shelter I was at talked about how his dad beat his mom to death. He spoke like he was talking about any other old thing. I've not felt so bad for someone before then. He was given no chance at life and he was just a kid. Admitting to hitting their cat when the cat did something bad. You then hit them, because they did something bad, right? My one friend said he's probably never going to hang out with me or invite me to the group hangouts and all that ever again because I moved too far away and for reference I moved less than 20 minutes away and we are all grown men. I drive 20 minutes and drive through toll booth just to visit a friend, that or drive a shitty backhanded road that require 4x4 motion and good lights, studded tires during winter as well, a homie is a homie no matter what. I don't know if this is considered casual but just about every time I go to the beach or a pool with a certain friend, she loves to scream out hey everyone look at Kitty Dreamer. She has no ass. And everyone looks and kinda laughs while I am standing there fucking mortified. It's really upsetting and for some reason I stay friends with her. WTF. That is not a friend. PLS drop the dead weight. That I seek attention way too much, and that my insecurities are irrelevant because a man shouldn't put his focus there. I'm that friend, I was as casual as one can get when I told my friends my dog were dead, was devastated but wasn't able to express it at the time. Not my friend but my niece. She's 11 and has some emotional issues and trauma, and she just casually mentions cutting herself like it's any old Tuesday. Then she doesn't understand why auntie has to go in another room and cry. That her husband waa into bestiality and they have a small farm. I felt legit traumatized. Driving by slums in the Philippines and was asking my, rich, relatives who I was riding with if the government is helping them. Their response was, no worries they suffer now but they'll be rewarded in heaven, which pissed me off. Years ago, a friend told me that her parents named her brother after their father. She later told me that she had an older half-brother with the same name. Her dad had an affair, left his wife and son, then allowed new wife to give the new son the same name. Friend then stated her older brother wasn't close to the family because his mother poisoned his mind. My sister thinks it's okay to bring up the fact that she may or may not have let her guy friend have sex with me at her house while I was drunk and amp, her and amp, her boyfriend went to bed. Leaving me to do who knows what. He told them that I asked him to fck me in the air which I don't even talk like that, and amp, to repeat it to me like I'm some slut triggers me. They also said I slapped him. 
which makes me think some way he crossed the line. It was my very first time meeting that person and amp, I've been blacked out before and amp, refused sex. So hearing lies like that pisses me off, the guy isn't even attractive, and amp, my actual boyfriend was coming to get me that night why on earth would my entire personality change just for this one person it didn't. Either he's lying on me or he took advantage of me. I guess it's okay I because it's her boyfriend's psycho friend and amp, I'm some drunk slut so I deserved to be take. I used to be a lot curvier but I lost a noticeable amount of weight. Drove an hour to meet an old friend I hadn't seen in several years. She brought up her MLM supplements that help you lose weight. I said I've already lost over 25 pounds, can you tell? She said, I mean your skin looks a lot less red now. Okay bye, BTCH. We were neighbors having a conversation about a family that lived nearby that had been there a while. He said something along the lines of yeah when they moved and that girl was in preschool soon she'll be driving. It's a shame she's not hot. If she was going to be it would have happened by now, for context I was in my 30s and he was at least 10 years older than me. We're not friends anymore. You're getting fat. Had a love interest tell me she used to have a thing for cocaine that got out of hand once or twice in the past. Mentioned it right after we had wild sex during the afterglow period. Like they are into bestiality haha. I texted my best friends to let them know that we eloped and that we will still have a ceremony. But, I wanted the stress of actually getting married off my shoulders with the planning. They were not nearly as excited as I thought they would have been. IDK my first thought was I should have just not said anything to them. Besides being happy for you that you got married, why would your friends be excited? Congrats, but it's just a legal document saying you and your so are now married, so unless they were involved in the wedding planning it's not the most exciting news for anyone else because it's your relationship, not theirs. Personally I'd probably just say wow, that's great, congrats. Do you have any honeymoon plans? That whisper thing you do after talking is weird and annoying. I know I do this, don't really know what it is so it's definitely weird. Annoying? Kinda harsh. Related to that, anyone else do this? Repeat what you just said but as a really faint whisper. I am intrigued. How does this work? Like with everything? I had a situationship with a guy who just so happened to be dating my best friend at the time. We weren't talking and I had no idea they were together. Anyways, shit hits the fan, we both find out, it rekindles our friendship and she forgives me right away, they stay together. One day we're hanging out and she tells me he said when it comes to sex you like college football, and I'm the NFL. And he said he just felt sorry for you so he slept with you out of pity. He begged and begged to hook up with me, I was a virgin, I had no experience but the fear of criticism like that is exactly why I waited so long for my first time, I thought he really cared about me. She could have chose to keep it to herself to spare my feelings but she didn't, and it still hurts to think about now. When I was a kid, my best friend had diarrhea of the mouth and would always tell me all the negative things the boys in my class would say about my physical appearance behind my back. She meant no harm, but damn it did a number on my self-confidence. I didn't need to know all that information. You think you're perfect. Granted this is my best friend who knows how hard I am on myself.